a home blown right off its foundation. That's not supposed to happen when we have the kinds of lesser tornadoes we've seen this year. But a News 4 I team investigation found it is happening in the mid-state, even to homes built to code. What Chief Investigative Reporter Jeremy Finley uncovered has storm experts questioning whether our homes are being built strong enough. We want you to take this so seriously. If you Not long after Lisa Spencer predicted it. This is where we're seeing that rotation. The National Weather Service moved in, documenting the strength of the tornado, quickly realizing something was wrong about the Christiana house where Angie Walker was killed. The house lifts off the foundation and flips. You feel that this house shouldn't have flipped. You still have trees around in the backyard. This wasn't anything more than 125, 135 miles per hour. So this shouldn't have happened to this house? Well, in theory, it, it should not have. It's a theory based on a scale used by meteorologists to determine the strength of tornadoes. Five is the strongest, zero is the weakest. It's all based on the damage surveyed at the scene. The National Weather Service determined the tornado that hit Christiana was just a two. It should have just blown off roofs and snapped large trees. Not do this type of damage. Watch. This simulation shows it takes wind speeds of 115 miles per hour to force a home off its foundation. But a News 4 I team investigation found homes in Tennessee are required to only be built to withstand winds of up to 90 miles per hour. Look at this home from a lesser tornado in Clarksville. You can see it was forced off its foundation, but look what withstood the trees in the very front of the house. You've got trees standing right. really close to a house that was completely devastated. Right. That didn't add up to you. No, no, that, that definitely did not. We think that the codes to build houses to should be much higher. Susan Millerick is a national expert on homes built to withstand high winds. Are the homes in Middle Tennessee in greater danger of falling in even these lesser tornadoes? It's not so much, Jeremy, that we're, we're, we're not building properly. We believe we can build much stronger, but we're also building ourselves into riskier places. Riskier highlighted by this study, released just last month by the journal Climate and Atmospheric Science. The areas in red and orange are where tornadoes are increasing, with Middle Tennessee right on the edge. Experts say not a question of if this will happen to more Tennessee homes, but when. Jeremy Finley, News 4 I team. Experts say these hurricane ties or straps can go a long way to fortifying your home. They actually don't cost much money. Hurricanes, they say, uh, they will actually work during tornadoes or hurricanes. We found them online for just five bucks. We do have a link right now on our app to all the things that can be done to strengthen your home to better withstand a tornado.